Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Fabric API for Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But all you wanna do here is go to your search bar and search up modwinf like so, and you'll see modwinf.com here, just click on modwinf and this will bring you to the modern homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to Discover Content, and you want to go down to Mods. Now, you'll see Fabric API here, as it's quite popular, but if you don't see it, just go on Search Mods here and type it, but you will see it here somewhere. So just click on the name once you see it, and then, once you're here, all you want to do is go to Versions, and now you want to go to Game Versions, and you want to select what game version you want to play. So I'm going to select 1.21.5 and from there you want to find a release for your version and it will be for Fabric. So just click the green download button. And now once Fabric API has been downloaded, all you want to do is go to a new tab and you want to go ahead and search up for Fabric Minecraft like so to actually run Fabric API. So here you'll see Fabric net. just click on Fabric here. And this will bring you to the Fabric homepage. From there, all you want to do is click the blue download button. And now, you want to go ahead and click the download for Windows button here. And now you have Fabric Installer. So all you want to do here is just go ahead and close your web browser. And you want to open up your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Now, all you want to do is double click the Fabric Installer. And you will see that here, we have our Minecraft version selector. And here we selected 1.21.5 here as for our mods here, so we'll just go ahead and select that version here. So we don't touch anything. Now we just do install, OK, and close. Now all you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher, and from there, all you want to do is simply go ahead and make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and if it is, just go to installations. And from there, you want to go ahead and hover over Fabric and go to the folder icon. Now, all you want to do is find a mods folder. And once you did this, just double click it. And from there, you want to go to downloads. Here, you want to select and copy Fabric API. And then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder. Here, you just want to do paste and you're done. So you just copy paste it in a dot markup mods, Fabric API. And once you have this, you can go back to your Minecraft launcher. You can go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and click play. Okay, and once we have Minecraft here, you can go to a single player world, a multiplayer world, or a realm. I'll just go to a single player world, and you won't see anything change really as this is an API. But basically, what this does, it just kind of fixes the um, fact that some mods might crash if you don't have Fabric API. So, here, as we only have Fabric API, we can go ahead and see that we are all using Fabric Loader here. But with Fabric API, it is mainly if you have a mod which doesn't work and it requires Fabric API, that's what Fabric API, or when it says any version of Fabric, that's what it is. It is Fabric API. So, yeah, we now have Fabric API, so all the mods which require us there. So, all you know, for example, we can have like Rust, right? the hack one, or we can go ahead and have a minimap mod, uh, that type of stuff. All this stuff requires Fabric API, and that is where Fabric API comes in handy. So yeah, in today's video, I showed you how to download and install Fabric API for Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye.